please help me welcome Dr. Albert Wong. So as you heard, the title of my talk is Why We Should Care About Neuroscience. And this is a question that's familiar to me because part of my job is to teach neuroscience to psychiatry residents. And this is a question that they often ask. Now, I care about neuroscience because I think it's an interesting thing to study because I think uh, the brain is uh, you know, a fascinating organ. And from a basic science standpoint, I think we should care about it. But the residents in psychiatry want to learn practical things. Now, they're like residents in all other medical specialties. They want to learn things that will help them treat their patients. And they're you know, raring to go to, to see patients and apply the knowledge that they're learning. So they often are not convinced that they should be learning about neuroscience. So usually when people try to justify this to them, they say that neuroscience will help them to understand the disorders that they're treating or will lead to new treatments. And the problem with this argument is that really we don't know the cause of any of the psychiatric disorders that we commonly treat. We don't know what causes schizophrenia, bipolar dis disorder, depression, or anxiety disorders. And none of the treatments that we use today, whether the psychotherapies or the medications, really came from basic neuroscience discoveries. So when psychiatry, psychiatry residents learn about neuroscience, they often get, I think, a, an unsatisfying list of abnormalities and biomarkers that are associated with different disorders, and some some theories, some hypotheses about what the cause or the pathophysiology of these disorders is, but it doesn't really hang together. And so I think they're not really convinced. So my argument would be that actually neuroscience is important for some quite different reasons. And I think neuroscience in particular can help us to understand things about behavior and emotion in our patients that really have nothing to do with a specific disorder. That although we might not really know the neurobiology of schizophrenia or depression, we actually know quite a bit about the neurobiology of anger, of aggression, of love and fear.